Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I'm the breast cancer surgeon at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. And in this video today, I'll be talking about the stages of breast cancer. Now you know that breast cancer is the most common cancer amongst Indian ladies these days. Approximately 1 in 21 Indian ladies are affected with this disease during their lifetime. And this number is set to increase to 1 in 8 by 2025. So that's about the burden of the disease and because the incidence is increasing so much it's important to know about the stage of the disease because this has a direct link with the outcome and the prognosis. And also one needs to remember that if breast cancer is detected early then it can be cured completely and the patient can live a normal and a healthy life. Now the stages of breast cancer have been divided into stage 0 till stage 4 and I'll be talking about each one in detail. So stage 0 breast cancer is one where the cancer is localized to the breast duct and it hasn't even traveled outside, right? This is known as in situ cancer. So breast cancers mostly start in the ducts or sometimes the lobules so if the cancer remains within the duct and does not pierce it then we call it a stage 0 or an in situ cancer and this disease the good thing is that this can be treated without the dreaded chemotherapy part so one does not require chemotherapy adequate surgical clearance and sometimes radiotherapy is what is recommended and if the patient is ERPR positive, that is estrogen and progesterone receptor positive, then hormonal therapy in the form of tablets is also added. But no chemotherapy in stage 0 breast cancer. Stage 1 breast cancer is when the cancer travels outside the duct. So it's pierced the duct and it's invading the surrounding breast tissue. That is stage 1 breast cancer, but it usually does not go to the underarm lymph nodes, right? So it only remains in the breast, does not travel to the underarm lymph nodes, that's stage 1 breast cancer. Most of the patients who are detected with stage 1 breast cancer are treated with surgery. In these patients also, chemo is usually avoided if there are no other bad prognostic features. Radiotherapy is usually given if you've saved the breast and hormonal therapy is given if the patient is ERPR positive. And patients with stage 1 breast cancer also do extremely well. More than 95% live a normal life. Stage 2 breast cancer is one which travels to the underarm lymph nodes which is the first pit stop for breast cancer cells before it goes to the rest of the body. So stage 2 is one which is localized to the underarm lymph nodes and these patients will require both chemo and radiotherapy if the lymph nodes are found to be positive after surgery. Stage 3 breast cancer is slightly more advanced. In stage 3 breast cancer, either the skin is involved, so you will have either ulcers over the skin or the skin is going to appear like an orange peel or the underlying chest wall has become involved or you have bulky lymph nodes in the underarm region or lymph nodes in the neck. Now these patients first require chemotherapy why? In order to shrink the tumor so that further surgery and radiotherapy becomes easy. So most of the stage 3 patients are going to first land up with chemotherapy. In stage 3, almost 82 to 83 percent patients have a good ch chance of responding to treatment and a 5 year survival rate. What you need to understand is stage one, 0, 1, 2 and 3, these cancers are curable. That means you can remove the cancer completely and the patient can have a normal lifestyle. Stage 4 on cancer unfortunately is when it spreads to the rest of the body. And the common sites for breast cancer are the lungs, bones, liver and brain. 
So if the cancer spreads to the rest of the body, then we cannot completely remove the tumor. We can just make it sleep for prolonged intervals and offer a good quality of life to the patient, but we cannot achieve cure. So which is why it is important that breast cancer is detected early, preferably in the earlier stages like stage 0, 1 or 2, where the chances of cure are reasonably high and the treatment is less morbid. So to detect breast cancer early, one should be aware of their risk of breast cancer and they should go for regular screenings and checkups with the breast cancer surgeon. The breast center at C.K. Birla Hospital offers a comprehensive breast care program right from screening till the management of breast cancer and you can find more details on our website. Thank you.